Dr Ole Gillard's become the most unpopular Prime Minister since Paul Keating, according to the latest news poll. She says she's thinking long term, but a short term solution to Labour's woes may be developing. Some in the Liberal Party are trying to move the debate back onto industrial relations reform, where the government will feel it's on safer ground than its carbon tax. The revival on IR policy and the policy push in the Liberal Party has been triggered by a falling out over Peter Reith's failed tilt at the presidency. Political correspondent Tom Eagleton has more from Canberra. In 1993, Paul Keating set a record low for a news poll approval rating just a few months after what would be his first and last election win. Well, you know, I mean, they, these things go up and down all the time. I mean, it's uh, early days of a long parliament. Now Julia Gillard's almost equalled his low point and she's also playing for time. I believe that uh, once carbon pricing is in place, people will see how the system works and the benefits of it. Uh, we're a long way from that. That's why I think we're in a tough period now. Paul Keating's economic policies have resulted in over one million Australians being out of work. A radical industrial relations policy proposed by the coalition helped propel Paul Keating back into the lodge in 1993. Oh, Tony Abbott's boxing up talk about that issue as he tries to dislodge Julia Gillard and her fair work scheme. Excellent, mate. We're going to go. We'll be carefully uh, watching. Uh, to see how these laws work out. I was born and bred into the Liberal Party. But he's being urged to go much further. If you want to have higher living standards, you can't pretend that workplace relations is not an issue. Former hardline industrial relations minister Peter Reith's breaking an agreement with Tony Abbott to stay silent on the issue. I'd suspended uh, my interest, as it were, publicly uh, talking about those issues, and sure, the suspension by his own hand has been lifted. <laughs> he says Mr Abbott broke his side of the agreement first. Look, he rang me up and said, look, it'd be great if you're the federal president, and he went round and got some of his mates to come on to make my campaign team. But Mr Abbott voted against Mr Reith and made sure senior colleagues knew about it by showing them his ballot. Now that Mr Reith lifted his self-imposed gag, Liberal backbenchers are getting on the industrial relations bandwagon. Labor's policy is not sacrosanct. It's driving up wage price inflation. It's costing people jobs. It needs to be improved and reformed. The intention is to return to a policy which is effectively work choices. And I think Mr Reith actually has done the Australian community a, a service today by exposing that agenda. Tangling Tony Abbott up in an industrial relations debate might give Labor a glimmer of hope. It was partially propelled into office by John Howard's work choices and it's been downhill ever since. Tony Abbott's now leading Julia Gillard in the preferred Prime Minister question in news poll which until now had been her lone bright spot. The carbon tax has been the undoing of Labor this year, but Julia Gillard says it's a small price to pay to change the behaviour of carbon-emitting businesses. They look at all the dollars and cents in their profit and loss statements and they'll see this item that says carbon pollution price and they'll go, how can I make that less? That process has effectively already begun as the government moves closer to naming the carbon price. It's a good thing to take the lead, but my recommendation that would be a, a policy should be cautious. It should start low and it should safeguard the export sector. But there was also some support for the government's approach from another business leader. If you're asking for an economic assessment of the two, the carbon price followed by an ETS is economically superior to the direct action policy. It will drive certainty, it will drive investment um, and so as a straight comparison between the two, that's the choice. A choice voters are weighing up to. Tom Eagleton, Lateline.